All right. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, dale, it's dale. the Dad's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Switch. I'm here with your man, Jimmy. I'm here with your man, Ant. I'm here with your man, Jay. And we got a very, very special guest, our homie from Staten Island, Ray. What's up? What's up? Get on them, bucks. What's, what's <laughs> what was going that? on? Birdman? That was no. Birdman? No. <laughs> that was the first W. Oh, the woo. <laughs> Peace so, to the up, gods and the earths. You know what I mean? Peace to the gods and the earths out there. What's up, Lord? What's what's going on, fellas? Today's what's what's today's knowledge, mathematics, knowledge. huh? Today's math is knowledge, knowledge. Oh, okay. You talking that? You talking <laughs> Some that? Some people gonna be mad already. Talking about, that's not Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how was y'all weekend? Well, nah. weekends, weekends already done, right? We're in the middle of the week. In it's, the middle it's, of the week. It's, it's, it's I'm so weekday. used to our Monday our Monday episodes that I'm like, how's everybody's weekend? But right. I haven't seen y'all in two days, man. I was y'all last two days on Monday. Yeah, I didn't see you too. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Man. It's Wednesday. Damn, man. These are these unemployed folks, man. Wow. Wow. Shots, man. Wow. Shots. Wow. 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 I got to be all that. Listen, man, I, I'm not unemployed. I work for the government. That's how That's it goes. That's right. Man. Yo, yo, Trump said you need to run that money back, though, man. <laughs> yeah, you saw right. that meme? He said, he said, I want my gone. stimulus back. He said, I want that 1200 He's doing a reverse wire out your account. He had yeah, to get his money, though. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that, though. That was just a meme. Nah, no, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, man. There's a lot of people that have been getting uh, uh, unemployed recently, man. Your man Carl Uh-oh. Lentz from Hillsong. Ooh. 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 Fellas heard about that, that man. man? Heard about it. Yeah, he seen man. the letter, right? They dropped the letter, a note or something. What was it? Nah, they sent they sent an email to 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 uh oh the uh, email yeah, yeah but yeah then they they didn't put it on the Instagram oh the might have well he 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 had post he had made a post on Instagram yeah he saying, did saying that he's stepping down and then Hillsong had made a post as well oh. but before all that came out we already kind of had the scoop because from the email you know our sources. <laughs> Wait, we know Wait, people, and then why? What y'all, what y'all feel about that? Because some people felt like he shouldn't have, he should have not been fired. Um, as far as you know, being fired from Hill, like, like you know, let go of as far as the job or the position. What so thing what happened? Happen. It's my thing, right? Because I said this before. Like, why is it well, you make one mistake? You could be on point for like 10, 15 years, right? And you make one mistake. And it's like this whole big announcement in front of the world. Right. They gotta excommunicate you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and and that ruins your your reputation. Like we're not people anymore. Like I understand we got standards, I understand all of that, but it's like where does standards and humanism meet? Because I thought we we know we're not perfect, right? Right. 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 Well, here's uh, something to combat at that, right? The 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 press well not press release or whatever you want to call it that was sent out to members. Obviously, people are gonna start leaking in and it gets to the press and then that's how it makes a big commotion. That's true. But initially, it. initially it was it was sent within you know leadership. So, right. um, yeah. But but either way, like. So, but you write that one thing. Him you having know, a how, moment means he unfit the lead all of a sudden, like, mm. or he became unfit when you found out. Yeah, that's mm. what it was. Mm-hmm. You know what that yeah. just uh. well, when I when they when they sent the uh, the letter, it was like it was multiple things, right? It was m- not just moral failure, but they said that he had uh, was it something about trust in the in 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 the in the, tr- in, the in the church. Did so it's that? it's yeah it seemed yeah. like something that was more than just this one moment. Um yeah. that's what that's I mean, just me reading into it. I'm not sure, but it it probably seemed that way and you know maybe the moral fa- failure which which we found out was him cheating on his wife. 
Called um, it, yo. Cause that's what he said, right? Yeah, and had called it because he was like, I know what it's it is. Profit, bro. It, it was, <laughs> it's always there, the, profit. the email says. Well, it was uh, the way they worded the email though, because there was a paragraph in there, and they seemed like they were sympathetic towards his wife. In yeah, the, they did. They dropped yeah. her. Yeah, they did. They dropped her in the in the email. You're right. And right. then it was her. like, oh yeah, Carl too. But it just it was really directed mm. at his wife and their sympathy and how they felt bad for her in that specific paragraph. I was like, yo, he did like. Something. So how many times has somebody got knocked from a position for something that wasn't infidelity? That's a mm. great question. Because that's always the case. So is that the only thing they're doing wrong? Well, no, I, I disagree. I think most past, like sometimes when this happens, when it comes to like infidelity, what they'll do is the past will step down, right? They're not necessarily fired or you know, lose a position in the church, but they make them like mm-hmm. take a break or whatever. In my understanding, this has been maybe one of the few times somebody's actually been fired, you know, maybe from he the church. Maybe he but don't I'm, want to step down. But I'm just saying the fall off is always infidelity, infidelity yeah. Like, yeah, yeah it always yeah, seems yeah. that way can, right, can, right. You, guys, can you guys think of any any other pastor who, like, who's been forced to step down for any other reason like pastor shot somebody or nothing <laughs> that's, that's, hog that's hog mob that's hog mob that's hog mob that's in Cali <laughs> they fell out there yeah. with the beam on you and yeah, that's that's how they get initiated you know what I mean yo <laughs> but it's true it's, it almost seems like when they do anything else it's like a slap on the wrist but when it comes to adultery it's like ah yo, like. so I've, I've been I've been to two churches where the pastor had to step down um I was what do you mean? Same reason. Similar reasons. Uh, still sexual sin. So the first one, I was going to uh, Church of the Harvest, and that's what Bishop McClendon, and um, he got caught in infidelity, and he was asked to be step. He was asked to step down by the Foursquare Church because he was a member of the Foursquare Church, and he was like, "Nah, skip that. I'm leaving the Foursquare Church." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and so. He started, he kept his church. He kept the name of his church. He just started a new church that was non-denominational. So he never stepped down. And then, you know, a few weeks later, he was remarried. You know what I'm saying? With a brand new wife wow. and everything. Yeah. You said the next week. Mm. Same, go- same goes no, for Jamal. No, in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Same goes yeah. for what? Playing the wedding. For Jamal, Jamal Bryant. I mean, oh, his church found him, you know, cheating around, but That's he crazy, didn't lose right? his church. You know, nah, he went preaching, to another church that had that lost their pastor for cheating. Wow. <laughs> and then I went to another church. I was at a, a P4CM. I was at Passion for Christ Movement. And the pastor, he wasn't married, right? He was single. But he he was like... Messing around? He, yeah. He, so if, if a cute girl came through... Uh, he yeah, he would man. volunteer. He would volunteer to disciple him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? <laughs> he was laying yeah. hands. Okay. Yeah, he he, he was laying left. hands, bro. <laughs> so like like in in the in the in the in the sense of in the sense of like what what Riggs is talking about. I think I think I think for that. Um, oh, I see the dog in the background. What's going oh, my on? Dog's What's up. popping? <laughs> right here, dog. <laughs> um, you know, in in that case, I think I think it was it was right for him to step down to be forced because he was like hollering at all the shorties at church he was a predator you know what i'm saying so like, right that's different you know what yeah saying? yeah yeah it wasn't like you know yeah. it was so we don't like we, we kind of don't know what what you know to what extent right this, yeah, this kind of relationship is. is like we don't know if he's been and you know what's another thing we never we never hear about women talk about these things Word. we only hear the men the point. side we never hear like yo this female it's almost like it's always the and and, and what and, you mean like like if it was like Paula White or something, not like a Paula woman pastor. White. What do you mean? Like the women that are involved. Like I want to know oh. who are these women that they're getting oh, involved with. Maybe they, they don't. They, they don't want to. Um, come are they forward, people you know in the church? Are they people outside of the church? Is this like? Because listen, recently the same thing happened to. Um, I was I, like I started watching this uh, virtual church online that my that my friend attends. And, you know, I was loving it. I was getting fed there. I'm listening to the word. And this pastor, I'm like, yo, this dude's on point. You know what I mean? And then <laughs> same kind of situation. They they found out that he was cheating on the, on the um, cheating with one of the sisters or something like that in the church. Right. 
And I'm like, yo, like I, w- I was so thrown back by that because, you know, this dude had discipled and mentored other people. You know what I mean? Like he's helping other people uh, overcome their sexual problems or their sexual addictions. And he's dealing with this. So it was. But I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, I want to know, like, where who are these females? Like, I don't know. I guess the story behind it, you know, what I mean, yeah. maybe it's not important, but it's just like all these passes that keep falling. Maybe they need to know their limits. Like, you know, what was it? Was it Billy Graham that said he don't even get into an elevator with another female alone or something like that? Like, he was like, I don't even go to in the elevator. If I see that an elevator is, is there with a female alone, I'm not jumping in there because of just not even just because he might be attracted, but just if the female said, oh, he tried to yeah, holler at me want, or made yeah, up a story. He don't even want that on his jacket like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, and then I recently, remember, um, What's his name? Ravi Zacharias, too. Oh, we never touched on that. Accusation, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, After man. his death. It's like you wait till he died. It. Uh, I don't know. Man. Yeah, that one, I don't know. I ain't. That's why I didn't even want to touch on it, because they ain't exactly. really speaking on even, much about it before. Even at this point. Like, you're just trying to sully people celebrating his death or people acknowledging yeah, you know what I'm saying the great things you want to come out of the world. Where, and, and, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm, quote unquote, victim shaming and all of that, but it's like when you cry wolf so many times, you know, with this movement going on where everybody's right. getting called out, it's like you don't know what's real from what's not. And if it mm-hmm. was if it was like that, why you wait till after he passed? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it yeah. kind of makes it look not legit. Strange. Yeah. And you kind of hurt the argument for other women that have gone through it. And that's true. Want to come forward and say something. So and he can't even really defend himself. He can't I mean, defend himself. He can't, you know what I'm saying? He can't really. He can't at all. <laughs> but <laughs> so it was yeah. like, what are you getting out of that? You can't sue him. You can't get him locked up. So what was yeah. your What was your the purpose? point? What was your yeah. motivation? You know what I mean? And you you kind of you kind of enable them too because let's just say the allegations are true, right? Like you not saying something allowed for him to maybe do that to somebody else. You know what I mean? Right, like exactly. you enable the predator, you know, in some sense, you know? Right, because it, it wasn't something. It wasn't something where she was alleging like we had an affair or something like that. It was like mm. she was straight violated, you know. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, that allegedly. Happened. And yeah. I don't put my head on the block for nobody. I have seen a lot of things, but you know, it, it is what it is. Like it's hard for us because we so far from the situation. We've seen it like everybody else. So yeah, what we could do is have our discussions about it. That ain't really moving nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, True. And whoever's affected is affected, and that's it, really. I mean, yeah, I, th- I think they definitely should should step down. You know what I mean? I've I remember in my past, like I had walked away from for many years, and I, it was because of lust. You know what I'm saying? And I had to just you just got to stop. You know what I'm saying? You can't you you really need to take a step back in what you're doing in life. You know what I mean? And really consider. But were you were you uh, were you like involved in the church? Were you leading any classes, yeah. or you had mm. you had okay? So you had a no. I wasn't. I wasn't. But I was doing. I was doing ministry. You know what I'm You're saying. I was doing a lot of ministry. Yeah. Um. Did they ask you to step down, or that was something you you wanted to do yourself? You see that the problem with me was I had so much guilt and then shame yeah. from it that yeah. I just ran away completely. I was just like, I'm not dealing with church. I'm not dealing. Right. This is. This is Ooh, bigger than back. everything. Yeah, I went. That's when I, I, I all felt in. all the like once I confessed it and tried to deal with it, I couldn't deal with it. I was just like in so much shame and guilt of what I had done because I, at that time I was also supposed to be married. You know, what I mean, I, mm-hmm. I wasn't married, but I was supposed to get into uh, you were engaged. Yeah, I was engaged to be married. So then I had to confess that to her. You know what I'm saying? So I've heard so many people in that process that they would never think they'd be like, nah, Serge, like he would never do that. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't know, like I had this, this thing that was hidden, you know what I mean? And I, I just never dealt with it. And that's why the word says, confess your sins to one another, man. And, and the blessing is you felt guilty. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the right. civil lining in that situation. Cause a lot of people right. don't feel guilty and they'll sit right there mm. and, and step up. Like, yo, I want I want more positions in the church. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and don't feel nothing. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's true. I mean, like that's I've been that true. guy. I've done a lot of things where like like after I got saved that I acknowledged it was evil, but I was like, why don't I feel bad? Like maybe I'm just not really saved like that. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, and 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 sometimes it came from the church I was in at the time, where a lot of people around me. It was the typical like everybody was fronting type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because I was genuine, but I was genuine about my dirt too. You know what I'm mm, saying? And right, everyone right. around me is just so joyful and so saved and they ain't doing nothing. I'm just like, damn, I guess I'm not saved like that until you got to know these people and you realize they was worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm just like, dad, you ain't got no shame. Like you done just finished crying. You just finished like laid out on the floor and then you got up like, yo, so, <laughs> you know, so let's go with. And I'm like, wow, really? You yeah. Know, so I realized, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's dangerous because that, that front makes people like I really almost walked away because I said I still believed in God. But I was just like, he's sovereign enough not to choose me because the way everyone around me is acting and, and, and talking like they live in, it's not what I'm living and I'm not fronting for people because I can't front for God. You know what I'm saying? So right, I was right. just like, I guess he ain't choose me, you know, and then he kept me enough till I grew my maturity, but that stuff is dangerous, man. Cause that's, that's why good. people walk away. They, they vanish. Like you talked about in your experience when, you know, depending on situation, you could at least come with your head down. Like, yo, I messed up. I, you know I mean? I'm here and you know, people embrace you and they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they help build you back up build you up yeah but you ain't gotta be so like yo i, I need to just yeah my saying? problem i think also was like i i was only i was probably on it was i was only remorseful because i felt that guilt i don't feel like it was total repentance because then i just kept on yeah, and then yeah, it yeah. was just like i let go completely like ah, uh, yeah, yeah i can't I, I felt like my lust was too big like oh, i can never fight this i can't overcome this yeah, it ain't understand. going nowhere yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But but listen, man, all of us as believers, like when we deal with something and we got to struggle, like we have to have that accountability. We have to go above and beyond when it Absolutely. comes to that particular area, you know, whatever it is, whatever. If people are into those kind of vices, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it doesn't really necessarily go away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just it comes back and then you just got to learn like, no, I'm not going to do this. And yeah. Yeah, like that's serious. It's serious. They just got to stop being so taboo to to put on the table. Yeah, that's what makes people hide in it, and they go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Depending where you at, you may never come back from that. Yeah, yeah. I was about one, to say it got to be your environment, who you surround yourself with. You know, right. right. One one of the things that Carl said in his post, and I uh, quote, he says, "I did not do an adequate job of protecting my own spirit, refilling my own soul, and reaching out." to the readily available help that is available. So, mm. I mean, it goes to show how, you know, <clears throat> I mean, obviously these, you know, celebrity passes, you, you know, like they say, mm. you know, involved with so many people of influence and stuff like that. Like it, it, it might be maybe easier to fall into temptation or whatever than, you know, Joe Schmo that nobody really knows about, mm. you know? And I think we can learn that, you know, we need to take steps to protect our own heart and our own soul and everything because we don't know, you know, everybody, you know, falls short from, you know, the glory of God. And you need to, you know, if it's on Instagram, you know, got to clear out that explore feed, you know, yeah. don't be don't be following all these, you know, thoughts and TikToks and all this other stuff because <laughs> it just it, it ain't going to end TikToks. very well. You know, that sounds like a mixtape. I don't. I don't. Right, right, right. I, I, I added nobody. I we all Jay, drop, Jay dropping a new one. Thoughts right. and TikToks. Thoughts and TikToks. That's a new T. That's a new merch coming soon. <laughs> Shop dot, that's not Christian dot com. But yo, I, 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 I think, I think, I think, um, it's more than that, man. It's not just him being a celebrity. I, I, I think you got to create that environment and accountability. You know what I'm saying? And, and maybe it is, maybe it is that because he was a celebrity, nobody was holding him accountable, you know? Yeah. Yes, man. Asking probably. him questions. Yeah. Nobody was asking him questions, you know, like, mm-hmm. yo, how's this going? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what yeah, you but maybe they were, him? and he was just like, yo, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure because when, when, when you're in that type of position, you know, like you're supposed to be like, People assume that you got it all together and don't realize that you're struggling. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, mm-hmm. and we'll people assume that of you as well, you know? And, and if you don't create that environment of like, yo, I'm struggling with this or pray for me for this or that or the third, 
if you don't create that environment, then you know that's not something that people expect. You know, right, right. Like they just they and that's just even money. harder too, because you when you get in a, I'm sure that you know he was getting a bag from the church and, you know what I mean, to admit that and then just be like, well, I gotta step down because you know I've right. been I've been wilding out. You right. Know, it affects yeah. your it affects your wallet. It affects everything. You know what I mean. So he got a. Oh. Yeah. He should have less car lengths, man. Yeah, man. yeah, man. You know, just shows that he's human like like anyone else, right? Yeah, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully he right. get back on his game. Who uh I wonder how the church members feel about it. You know what I mean? How you feel, Jay? <laughs> um, I mean <laughs> <laughs> That was a good segue. <laughs> that was when when I got the email, I was like, dang, you know, that sucks. But then I also thought, like, you know, um, I think the church had to do whatever they had to do. I also think, like, you know, Hillsong is huge. Like, if you think of, like, a big corporation, like, Hillsong is one of the huge uh, churches that there are in the world. You know, and I and I think maybe, you know, um, the, you know, Brian, who's a, the senior pastor, deciding to, hey, we're going to let you go. Um, I don't know. I felt like it was the right move because... Um, Hillsong hasn't really been known for that type of controversy. They've had other controversies before, but when it comes to like everybody, you know, walking and leaning in line with, with God, it hasn't really been, you know, like that. This is probably the the, the major one. Um, so I, I, you know, and I also think like it could have been maybe in his contract, like, hey, listen, if you mess up here, 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 then I'm sorry, but you gotta go. You know? Yeah, you gotta go. You know, business. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, and uh, and the money, the money's low right now with you know, COVID and everything. You know, what I'm saying. I don't that think they're like struggling. The, I don't think like the they're best struggling. opportunity. You don't think? They're I mean, struggling? yeah, I don't I mean, think they're struggling. It can't be the same. The money ain't the same, bro. You can't. Yeah. Nah, but I they mean, be sending every, they be sending them ties to. Oh, they got auto money. pay. They got auto yeah. pay. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, right the, the, yeah, the church used to do. Uh, <laughs> Or it does like every year a whole you know financial review whatever, so oh, they've so been okay saw, pretty much. They've been okay. I, yeah, at the local church I would say. So yeah, so you haven't stopped tithing is what you're saying? Uh, I mean yes, I have. Yeah, he said. Oh uh. yeah. <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm saying. Other other people yeah. may have too, so the, nah, the money I, might be I low. I think a lot of people have. Yeah, uh, to say that it's not the same as you know when everybody was there. Okay, sure. You yeah. know, but that they're struggling, like you know, hey, we might not. No, I'm not. Keep, say, I'm not saying. I'm not saying like keep this. this you saying he got right? laid off? Like <laughs> it, was, it was the perfect storm. Like yo, this is great. Yeah, like, like a PR thing. Let him like, right. Yeah, they had to pay him out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying they're struggling with like to keep the lights on, man. But like you know, your your ties is down. You know what I mean? You got to let somebody go. You're not having church service. You know because <laughs> Cuomo, whoever you know, like Cuomo. <laughs> I mean, you are having church service Cuomo. online. Yeah. yeah, it's good promo. Yeah, Brad, you just <laughs> for all them years, you should have been stacking it somewhere for time. That's breaks. right. That's right, right. right. Exactly. I know. Yeah. I know he's not making no I mean, thirty thousand a year. <laughs> not for sure. No, no, for sure not. Um, but yeah, now, but I hope he but, invested in Tesla for sure. But now, does he get like a severance package with that? Because <laughs> it's does like, it look like I'm part of the contract team. <laughs> so the final. I'm just saying, like you letting the dude go, but this is his well. You know what I mean? His well being. Well. Got a golden oh, yeah. parachute. So now, do yeah. you send him with a little <laughs> care package? I mean, like, look, it could man. be. It could be. He could still hold his masters. When when it comes to like these big got churches, three sixty. Yeah. <laughs> three sixty. <laughs> Like all when his it comes sermons, to the, yeah, yeah. This, this, uh, the big churches usually have stuff like that, you know, yeah, they, they give big contracts, out. retirement plans, and stuff like that. So, they pay them out. yo, man, they forget podcasting, man. I'm gonna be a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the heck, <laughs> call, call, oh, Lentz, call Lentz and Trump could do a mixtape called Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Word that yo, that's a good point because he had re- yo, he was firing mad people. 